Welcome back to the Great Green Home Show. We are here today with Tom Marson from Energy Services Group. How to who save is, money. Who is telling us how to save money on the energy in the home, all that good stuff. Um, and we need to continue Let's this. To but I do 10. want to mention to, that uh, the last segment was uh, sponsored by MyUKEachAgent.com. I can, I can speak. Nobody could find that. And don't, um, don't, don't go look that one up. And Option Insurance Group. So don't my go look up MyUKEachAgent.com. My ear <laughs> How do you spell that? MyDrunkenEgoAgent.com. Okay. And uh, and Tom, so I'm sorry. T- give us your top five or so energy hogs in the home that you typically see. Uh, was that? Yeah, what do we, yeah, okay. what do we got to fix? What, what's, what, tell people what to look what for. What are the most common problems that are going to see the biggest amount the of money? Roof? Well, I always want people to start in the attic. And with an older house, uh, built before the 70s. I would not have thought attic. We want to go and find the insulation level. We want to know how much is up there. It's below current code levels, and okay. so it probably hasn't been insulated. But before you insulate, you need to make the top of the house airtight. Okay. We all think, we'll put on a hat. You know, great this, thing to do. This has always raised a question for me. There's put a hat those, on the house. You get That's the soft house, right? And you got the holes that allow the the attic to breathe. Well, we're not Are you making supposed to cover those up in the winter time. No duck. We're not making the attic airtight. We're making the house oh, to so the from, attic airtight. From the, okay. So so the so the issue ah. there is the insulation between the attic and the and the top floor, and any doors that there are going from attic to house. Those are the big issues. Doors are a really great one. Imagine you have a set of stairs. Where I have you open to pull a door down. and walk up. Right. Or you have a pull down I have stair. I pull down stairs. Like but in 1950s houses. The brick chimney that connects the fire, the the heater and vents the flue gases usually has a big cavity around it. Right, and there's Huge a cavity. hole that runs. It's, uh, that's where all the wire they put all the wires for my exactly. cable and satellite and all that stuff was in, because that chase was huge. It's like four inches wide. Doug, just you have a house. There. We have to come and oh, I, you oh, need absolutely. To call you, you need to doctors. We, we, that I, number. we do need call seven 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 fifty fifty. I need that energy <laughs> doctor. Okay, well that's good. We've established you have a leaky house, which so, I knew anyway. Yeah. So find the holes and seal them up, and then insulate. Okay, so energy. find the holes. Energy Insulate. Star says this. Attic is the first place. Absolutely. All right, first get place. that. Next place. The reason why the attic? So easy right to there. work there. We don't have to take the house apart to get to it. Now, Thank the, God. the next place. Let's go to the basement. If it's unfinished, you guys are traveling around. We don't have to go and take anything apart to fix it. Okay. And that's going to have a lower cost. Now, I have a crawl space. I should be putting insulation in the floor joists, between the floor joists, inside the crawl space, correct? That would be a good assumption and I, wrong if oh, okay. the concrete, if your crawl space has a concrete floor. It's a dirt floor well, with plastic on it. What if we made your crawl space a short basement that you can't stand up in and you have ducks running through the crawl space? We want to keep those ducks inside the warm house. I don't want any ducks in my house. I, if I'm going to have anything, I want geese in my house. Well, Sorry. we don't want bats in the you belfry and we don't want ducks in the outside of the house. <laughs> No, we would want to make that crawl space conditioned. We would want to seal the vents so warm air stays in the house and cold air can't get in in the winter and vice versa summer. We don't want the hot, humid air coming into the crawl space and sweating on the cold ducts. My my brain is about to explode. I know, cold uh, ducts. You went for him. No, 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 not from the too many jokes, from the fact that my house is so screwed up <laughs> that I'm going to have to spend like, like $80,000 to fix it. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, it probably doesn't cost eighty thousand dollars to fix stuff like that. Uh, only like a, not a dollar over fifty-two grand. Well, let me tell you one of my pet peeves. How about prescription without diagnosis is malpractice? Oh. If you believe and you go fix it, you're being the house doctor, and you're prescribing a repair you without knowing sued. what to do. Right. You could malpractice. Be sued. Malpractice. So prescription without diagnosis. Have someone figure out where your energy problems are and direct you towards uh, fast or quick return on investment. Well, and you know what? I could probably do the, the vast majority of this myself, so it probably wouldn't cost me all that much money. So. It probably doesn't cost much to do it. We've got the attic. 
which is you guys not only come in and diagnose, but you also are available to fix these things correctly. You're you're the doctors. You're allowed to apply your medical knowledge to the house. We do surgery. Surgery. <laughs> and we make house calls. Okay. No pun intended. And you actually do some. You do some. Uh, you sort of have to, don't you? <laughs> well, if you'll bring us the house, it's a whole lot easier, but we haven't gotten any homeowners to do that. A couple mobile homes, but. All right. So those are the first. We go to the, the attic. We check the basement out. Um, check the crawl space. Given us that. Where do we go next? Let's look at the age of the heating and cooling systems. Oh. How efficient are they? That's a huge thing, isn't are it? Are they the older furnaces that are atmospheric venting, very fancy term, but they have the ability to let combustion gases come back into the house if we do something wrong? Let's get them out because they're health risks. Okay. Let's get to the high efficiency stuff. Carbon monoxide from oil heaters, stuff like so that. Not, right? So this is a quality of life, too. I mean, this is not just save energy. This is to save yourself. Save yourself. Oh, and, and while we're looking at it, let's make sure that the garage that's underneath the house, what we call tuck under garages, let's make sure there's no car pollution coming into the house because of something the duct system is doing okay. or the building leakage is doing. And okay. let's make that more air. Well, and this boundary. isn't going to hurt my wife who's got asthma either, right? This is going to help her as well. We may and find you have a mold reason causing that asthma and we fix your vented crawl space that's very wet and dried out and the asthma problem goes down because the mold level goes down. All right. Where, 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 do we, where do we go from there? Number four. Let's look at the lighting, uh, the appliances. Let's switch to Energy Star whenever possible. Get get those CFLs. And CFL the CFLs, right? Absolutely. I have a question. Do you like propane appliances, like propane refrigerators? And um, they're not Energy Star, but they 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 do, you know, they do take that off the electricity bill. Do you like those? Uh, you have dryers that can be natural gas dryers, natural gas refrigerators, things like that, as opposed to Energy Star. Well, I'm not afraid of an all electric house. Okay. Because I, if I have a roof that faces south, I'm going to put solar collectors on that roof, and I'm going to become my own utility. So I'm going to build in efficiency, and then I'm going to make my own power. Good answer. And propane, is its cost is tied to that barrel of oil. Ah. If we know the barrel of oil is going up and we see it out on the street as the price of gasoline, propane prices are going up too. Mm-hmm. So electricity controls the price because of the regulatory process. Right. It's not as volatile, well, and, and I yeah. can make my own electricity. Right. And as I ga- can't make propane. Right. Sorry, Doug. Oil, uh, it, I, I, my apologies. As, as oil goes up, gas goes up because of the demand goes up as well, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and we got one more on that list? Number five. He's got a bunch. Education. Huh? Get educated. What huh? are the energy efficiency m- things that you can do in your house. What are the low-cost measures? Uh, how ca- how do you use your energy? Is there a college for this? Where would we find this information? Start looking on the web. Ask people who are knowledgeable. Would they call you? Can people call you? Certainly. Shouldn't you guys write a book and sell it to all your customers? Don't you have a... It's already written. Don't that you have a, book is so, out so then, So then the, the book is already written. Don't you have a physician's By somebody else reference me? for energy uh, uh, consumption? What's that, a PDR? PDR for, for energy <laughs> consumption? <laughs> should write that book. book? <laughs> now, seriously, you guys ought to, I mean, you, know, you ought to whip out something a couple hundred pages and sell it to all your clients make a few extra bucks. Anyway, Are we we're going to have to thank Tom for being here today. Never enough Tom time Tom Marston Tom. from Energy Services Group. Tom, how can everybody get a hold, everybody get a hold of uh, the house doctors they can call us at 302-777-5050 or go online to energysvc.com outstanding thanks again for being here tom uh we need to thank our sponsors SunTrust mortgage cmi electric energy, energy services, services group, group my eco agent and option it's insurance, insurance group. group and that's it are do we you, done do you, uh, well do you, who, who next, next week, week we have lynn cherry who thank is an you. activist and a wonderful woman um, who travels all over the country, and she is doing boycotts for school children uh, lunchrooms. We'll talk to you next week.